Welcome to Bloom Graphics. Today we're going to be doing a neon sign as seen above. Please like and subscribe to my channel. As we load the channel, there are a few things we need to start off. First, the tools. We are going to need an iPad. I do have the third generation iPad and it works perfectly fine for this project. I need the Procreate app, which you can find on our app store. It is $10 and also an Apple Pencil that is rechargeable and works perfectly fine on the iPad. Pink Use, this one that I bought on Amazon, it also works really good. Now we're going to set our campus. Please follow along. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Please use RGB instead of CMYK to set your canvas. And now we're going to go online on Safari and look up a background. I chose a white brick wall. And then we're going to just add that into our canvas. I would say you should experiment on Procreate. See what you would like to do or change. I did get these guide builders online on Marketplace. I'll link it down below. But they're perfect to situate all of your fonts and text. Another little tip that you can do is try to put every item you do in a different layer. That'll help you move it around or change the color without interrupting your whole picture. So now after I got everything situated, I'm going to just delete those guide builders. Um, I can still move stuff around without the guide builders. It just shows a better flow of how I want my text. Now we're going to duplicate. What you do is press three fingers on your tablet and swipe down. That'll bring up the duplicate button. Duplicate the text four times per text. Now we're going to outblock all the layers. Swipe you right with two fingers. We're just clicking on the layer and pressing outblock. Outblock will help when you fill the layer with color to only affect the pixels that you have in your layer. With this project, we are going to have five layers total per text. One of the layers is going to be a shadow, which is going to be filled black. The other one's going to stay white, and the other three are going to be the designated neon color. This neon color you can find online. Just look up neon palettes. You're going to import a photo just to make it easy with the eyedropper tool to select the color. Fill that layer with that color. Don't forget to have your alpha lock on the layers that you are filling, or if not, the whole layer is going to fill. the video to try to get the exact results or you can move it around different colors and different effects now we're gonna merge all three colored neon layers for each text we're gonna just press merge down until you have one white layer one neon layer and one black layer now we're gonna take that black layer for each of the text and we're gonna move it down and to the right just so it shows as a shadow we're going to duplicate all of the black layers, the white layers, and a copy of the background. We're going to move all of the ones that we duplicated all together. We're going to keep it in the same order that we had the ones up top. Now we're going to create another layer, and that's going to be for the power quartz that are for the neon sign. duplicate those cords and add it also to the bottom group and now that's how your image should turn out and now on the procreate gallery i'm actually going to duplicate that project twice on one of the projects i'm actually just going to make sure all the layers are exactly how i want them and then afterwards i'm just going to merge down two different groups the top group will be the one with the neon colors and the bottom group would be the one without the neon colors on the next duplicate project, we're just going to duplicate the neon text a few more times just to get it as bright as we want it. Now we're going to merge again the two groups and then go over to the next project and just copy the top neon color layer and just insert it into the third project. Now with Pro 
create, you can always export it as a PNG or an animated GIF or animated MP4. Once again, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video.